Okay, so picking up where we left off here in that last video, basically we were having some challenge where the L3 out interface for the management tenant was effectively not working at all, right? The IP address assigned wouldn't, wouldn't pop up on the interface. So I was going back, looking through all the configs. So I'm not 100% sure why, but when I configured this the other day and it was working, before I went and forgot about all of that stuff, obviously, uh, we didn't hook the external routed domain to an actual layer three domain. So I went ahead and removed that and then went back into the fabric and under the external router domains, I killed that in band external domain and voila, things started coming up. Um, and then also since that last video here, I went ahead and added in the subnet. Very simple, obviously, just create a subnet blah, 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 and make it public if you want to advertise. Uh, private keeps it within the tenant, and shared is if you need to leak stuff between tenants, so in the event you had like a, in your common tenant, maybe you had an F5 or a Citrix box or something, you need to leak that subnet across. So that would be what that's for. Uh, but so now we can go ahead, we've got our neighbors up, uh, we've got our route, and we can go ahead and look down here at the, uh, the addresses for everybody here. So we should be able to ping 254.10, that'd be our APIC. And sure enough, that seems good. And then for the fabric, we should be able to ping the leaves, but not the spines based on, that sounds like what I was kind of talking about earlier, the spine for whatever reason doesn't play nice. Uh, so there's leaf one, uh, 93 is leaf two, and we shouldn't be able to ping leaves 11. I, I guess that's just a bug or a feature, not a bug. Not 100% sure on that. Um, so yeah, no draw there. And then we can also hop into, let's go to the fabric. We can look at the inventory. Go to our pod. And see if we actually have SSH today picked from here. It's all Linux, right? So it's just regular as config. And we can go up. And so we've got this bond 099, right? So 99 is the encapsulation that we used for the management stuff. You can see our IP address. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do not typing ping dash i. And I believe it's bond 099. Then we'll just try to ping Google. So I guess this is a, a red herring warning here. Uh, apparently just ignore that. It's sourcing from the bond 99 and then obviously we're just pinging Google. So we're, we're going out our 3560 and I've got a little ASA. So there you go. That's all of the in-band management IP addressing and routing configs. It is a little quirky to me that we don't actually hook it to a L3 domain. Out. I mean, this is the associated L3 out because that's just hooking it to this here. Uh, but this is a little bit weird that the external routed domain isn't used, I guess. But no, we hopped over here to this tenant, which is working. Um, he's hooked to the external routed domain. I don't know if that's just a function of being the management tenant and having some special characteristics, but I'm just going to chalk it up to that for now. So that's it. Uh, we'll be back with some more videos probably next week.